Hey, what's up everybody? This is Doug and I'm coming to you today from another new country. I am here in Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur, the capital city of Malaysia, and I've heard so many good things about the city, so I'm very excited to be here. Guys, today is just gonna be my first impressions, walking around the city, visiting a few hot spots, hopefully eating some good food. So stick around, it's gonna be a fun time. First things first, let's go get breakfast. So guys, I literally just got here last night, but so far I've noticed a lot of places like this, kind of like hawker stalls around here, and I'm gonna try to find a good one here. Everybody just sits out on these plastic tables and they serve a whole bunch of different stuff. Drink stalls, food stalls, you name it. So it's pretty cool. Hello, how are you? Hi. <laughs> I'll have the must try, please. One. Uh, the, this one here, please. Okay, spicy is good. For here, please. Alright, so we're going spicy. Hopefully I can handle it. Is it uh, pork or...? Pork, okay, very good. Thank you very much. Terima kasih. You prefer chopstick or pork? Uh, chopstick is okay. Thank you. Alright guys, here we have it. I think we have some char pork in there, some minced pork or beef, and a bunch of chili <laughs> and noodles. Over here we've got some soup with some maybe chicken balls? I don't know. Uh, whatever it is, I'm pretty sure it's going to be delicious. Just gonna give it a little mix here, get all that chili distributed so I don't get it all in one bite. Oh my gosh, when it's that dark, dark red, you know, you know it's gonna be spicy. He even warned me. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So let me get a little bit of the pork, a little bit of the noodles. This is like one giant ball of noodles. Okay, pretty good bite there. Cheers. Mmm. That char siu pork is sweet. So it goes so well with the spicy. Get a little bit of that spicy sweet. It is spicy. <laughs> I'm starting to feel it now. It looks so good. We'll see how I'm feeling by the end of it. But for now, excellent. Let me try a little bit of the soup. Just nice and mild. Let's see what the ball is. I think it's chicken. It reminds me of like bakso ayam from Indonesia. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. What are you doing? Okay, that was absolutely delicious. Also very spicy, he was not lying. My lips are totally on fire right now. But I actually like starting the day with something really spicy. I feel like it just gives you a kick and gets you going. Kind of like coffee, speaking of which, now that we've seen kind of the street casual, you know, stuff that you can find here, I wanna go somewhere a little fancier and grab a nice uh, iced coffee to cool off. I swear they are building everywhere here. Skyscrapers going up all over the place and I've barely seen anything yet. I mean, like all over the place. And I'm like 90% sure that that is the second tallest building in Malaysia. It was only beaten in around 2019 by the new tallest building in Malaysia, which hopefully I'm gonna get to check out in this video. All right guys, so I've made it to the coffee shop. It's called Lucky Coffee Bar, and it's like this little oasis in the middle of this big, crazy, humid city. So nice to cool off here. And the coffee is excellent. My lips are already feeling better. All right, moving right along. Uh, it was just pouring for about 20 minutes. So I was hanging out in the cafe there for a bit, but we've got a little break in the rain, so I'm moving to the next spot that I want to check out. It is uh, one of the biggest malls in the city, and I'm very close to it, so I've got to do a little shopping. I'm going to stop off there, show you guys what that's like. Alright, and here we are guys. This is Pavilion Mall, one of the largest malls 
here in KL and it looks like they've got pretty much everything you could look for. Luxury brands, at least that's where we are right now. I'm gonna try to find the main hall. Give me a second. Okay, here it is. Oh, look at it, all decked out for Christmas. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Wow. But can you meet Santa here? Let's see. There's a lot of families out here, it's a Sunday. So people are enjoying the weekend. Man, okay, I don't see Santa, but I do see a big sled that everyone's waiting for. And a giant uh, mechanical polar bear. <laughs> So that's cool. And over here, check this out. We've got a DJI booth. DJI. And if you guys don't know, I film all my videos on DJI products, including the drones and the camera you're watching on right now, which is the new uh, DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Links to all my gear are always in the description of my videos, by the way, on my website. Go check out the link somewhere in the description. By the way, it's pretty cool to see all the Christmas spirit here in Malaysia, because this is a majority Muslim country. It's like 65% Muslim, give or take, but uh, that being said, it is very diverse because there are also large populations of Christians, Hindus, Buddhists, and some other smaller groups as well. But yeah, that's pretty cool. It seems like a very inclusive place. Okay guys, I have left the mall and the rain is holding off, thankfully. However, the humidity is back in full force, so I'm sweating heavily, but I'm very excited because right now, right behind me, if I get these trees out of the way, you can see the Petronas Twin Towers. There they are right there. My first time seeing these in person. These are some of the most famous towers in the world. They used to be the tallest buildings in the world for uh, a period. Pretty cool to see them here. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. These are so iconic. Okay guys, how's this for a better view? I'm up here on top of the bridge. So. These are the Petronas Towers, 88 stories tall, and from 1998 to 2004, they were the tallest buildings in the world, and they're still the tallest twin towers in the entire world. Pretty amazing. One of the tallest sky bridges in the world as well, connecting the two towers. By the way, right now, guys, we are in KLCC Park, which is Kuala Lumpur City Center Park. I think this is the best place to come for the best view of the towers, and specifically this bridge right here. Pretty amazing. Okay, you guys are up on the bridge with me now. As you can see, a very popular spot for everyone to come and take their pictures with the Petronas Towers. And guys, this park, KLCC Park, is kind of insane. I mean, it's beautiful, like very well landscaped, but there are also a ton of things in here. Like, there's a huge park for kids, tons of families out here today, and they even have like a water park, like a mini water park. They've got like a huge pool and fountains and all the kids are swimming in there and stuff. So it's uh, it's really nice, especially in this weather. I'm like dripping sweat. I really like Kuala Lumpur so far. Like this is my first day here, but I'm really, really enjoying it. And here's the view from the other side of the bridge. So you got basically the full towers there. Very nice. Yeah, you're gonna be in the vlog. Are you watching this? Guys, I just met some friends out here. Of course, from Pakistan, the friendliest people, uh, right? Pakistan, Peshawar, and Pakistan, Karachi, Zindabad. Zindabad. <laughs> Pakistan, and Zindabad. Are you all from uh, Karachi or? Karachi, Peshawar. Peshawar. I went to Peshawar also. Peshawar. Yeah, nice Peshawar. people. Yeah, are from uh, Peshawar. I am from Karachi. Are you Pakistan? Yeah. Ah, oh, very good. A peace, Pashtun, yeah. a peace city, Peshawar. Peace. Peace city, yeah, peaceful city. Beautiful city, very nice people. And I got my Peshawar kameez when I was in uh, in Peshawar. It was amazing. So you guys are on holiday or uh, holiday? Uh, holiday. 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 Yeah. Yeah. How do you like the, the city? Yeah. Amazing. 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 Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. But the weather is very hot. Like uh, yeah, it's so hot. So hot. Well, you're from Karachi, right? Karachi. Yeah. So you're used to it. <laughs> yeah. You can't complain. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. And you see yourselves on YouTube, okay. inshallah. I'm watching this, man. Thank you, bye. I love Pakistani people. Always so friendly. I had a feeling when I saw those guys just from their vibe that they were Pakistani and I was right. And by the way, guys, if you want to see Pakistan, I still got sign-ups open for my amazing, incredible trek to Pakistan in summer of 2024. And if you haven't seen my videos from there, go check them out at the top of the screen. I think it's some of the best content I've ever filmed. I mean, the landscape kind of makes it easy because it's so beautiful there. All right, anyway, let's head down to this fountain. See what's going on down here. Here's the fountain. 
Hey, and look at that, we got even more Christmas spirit right in front of the Patronus Towers. It's so cool because this is like an oasis in the middle of this enormous city. I mean, look at these trees. They look really old, like they've been here forever. They're like enormous. I know I've only had one day here, but I feel like I like Kuala Lumpur better than Singapore. I don't know if that's a hot take or not, but I just think it's more my kind of city. It's not as fancy, not as expensive, and the people are just really easygoing. Not to say that there were bad people in Singapore, they were all great, everyone that I interacted with. But uh, yeah, I really like it here. Good vibes all around. Very cool modern city, but it still has some real personality to it. Okay, I, I need to go back inside in some air conditioning and get something cold to drink because I am very sticky. Very crowded. And we've got some more of that famous Malaysian Christmas spirit in here. Alrighty, I got my delicious mango smoothie here. A lot of you guys yell at me in the comments that I don't talk about prices enough in my videos. So I want to tell you, this was 1150 ringgit, a Malaysian ringgit, which is the local currency here. That is like less than $2.50. In New York, this would be probably around $10 at least. And earlier, my breakfast was only 10 ringgit, which is like $2.15, and that was a bowl of noodles with meat and soup. So, pretty amazing. Alrighty, we are off to the next stop. Once again, I feel like I have been transported out of a major city and this time like into the jungle. These are the KL Eco Trails, I believe is the name, and supposedly it's a very cool way of making our way to one of the best viewpoints in the city. The canopy walk, I think I'm going the right way. But it's crazy, I mean, you can hear the horns a little bit, but as you step in here, you truly feel like you're in the jungle. Like, you know, this is what all of this landscape must have been like before they built the giant city here. And the sounds of the city, like, fade away with every step. You can just hear the jungle. Okay, and there we go. Looks like we go all the way up there, and then we've got the uh, canopy. Wow. Okay, we made it up, and there's the city again. Once we got up to the top of the trees, you can see it. Let's begin. So this is just like suspended on giant wires and wow, that is a long way down. Very bouncy in the middle. Right over there, that point is the second tallest building in the world but we're going to get a much better view of it very soon. And time to go higher. By the way, that is our destination. We're trying to get up there to get one of the best views in the city. Let's see. Wow, <laughs> this is really cool. It's pretty cool, guys. Somehow in this city of like 8 million people, I'm the only one here right now. <laughs> Got it all to myself. I feel like I'm lost in the jungle. Until you look and see the skyscrapers, but pretty cool nonetheless. By the way, here are the prices for getting in here. So I paid 40 as international traveler, but it's different prices, I guess, if you have some kind of card, that must be like a local thing. So 40 ringgit is about $8.55 USD. So one of the more expensive things I've done today, but I think it's worth it because it's pretty unique. There are a lot more trails, like normal trails, but I'm gonna keep it moving because I've got a lot of stuff I wanna do today. Speaking of which, check out this view that I'm just coming up on. So it literally leads you right to it. This is the tower with the incredible viewpoint, apparently. It is called the Manara Kuala Lumpur. Of course, you can see in the background there the tops of the Patronus Towers. Let's see if we can get up there. All right, guys. Went all the way up. And here we are. The outdoor observation deck. Wow. <laughs> This is nuts. So when you come here, you can get a couple different kinds of tickets. There are a few different levels in the tower. There's a lower one, and this open-air one is 
the most expensive ticket cost 110 ringgit but if you pay with visa you actually get 20 percent off some kind of special deal that they have with visa so it only ended up being 88 pretty amazing considering this view i already think it was totally worth it but there's a special experience up here called the skybox it looks like it's going to be terrifying let's go check it out so here's the skybox it's a glass bottom box uh, which is why I think I'm gonna be terrified. And uh, it hangs out over the edge of the building with quite a view. Okay, so there are two of those skyboxes up here and you get your tickets included when you buy this uh, level access to both of the skyboxes. And that voice announcing numbers is because there's kind of a queuing system. So everybody gets their turn, they get to take their photos. So you gotta listen for your numbers to be called. They give you the little receipts and then you can go over there and get your couple minutes in the box. And here is the other skybox. Now it's cool because each one kind of faces a really good direction. This one is facing right towards the Patronus Towers, and the other side is facing the Merdeka 118, which is the second tallest building in the world after the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. The official camera guy is working them pretty hard. <laughs> He's got all the poses down. And I think there's like a one or two minute timer that is on the wall. So they've got it down to a science here, just going through all the poses. All right, guys, it is my turn. Here we go. <laughs> oh, God, I hate this already. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God, this is just terrible. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I really don't like heights, especially off of buildings. <laughs> and you can lean right out over the glass. So here it is, a straight drop. All the way down to that green lawn that I walked on to get up here. <sighs> Crazy. So there it is, second tallest building in the world. Merdeka, 118, 118 floors. And I'll put the height of it on the screen now because I forget the number, but it's the second tallest building in the world after the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. It was completed in 2019, I think, and it deposed uh, a tower in Shanghai as the number two tallest in the world. Uh, I'm just talking so I don't have to look down. <laughs> Let me hold the camera up to the glass. Okay. Thank you. I like how all the security guys here have cowboy hats on. It's a good look. By the way, I just want to give a shout out to all of the people that work here at the Kuala Lumpur Tower because they all are very, very friendly from the security guys to the guys that were running the skyboxes. I feel like a lot of times at really touristy places like this when they're just repeating the same task with tourists all day, they can get really crabby. But here everyone is super friendly and smiley. And that's what Malaysia has been like so far for me. So that's really nice. All right guys, second skybox here. <laughs> this is nuts. So there are the Patronus Towers. Okay, 45 seconds, there's the timer on the wall, and there's the top of the building. Uh, I'll take this time, my 26 seconds, to thank you guys very much for watching this video. This is going to be it, but stay tuned because I've got more coming from Malaysia, so it's going to be a lot of fun. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.